Isn't this the test one? Is this the test one? You were going fine, but now it's gonna be a test. Okay. You want to do it again? Hey, Scumbria. Uh, we really had a lot of fun with that last video, and we see in the comments you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, as soon as the weather gets better, we're going to be back out on the water. But in the meantime, we've done this uh, kind of a classic catch and cook video of some, we were catching shad the other night. So we tried smoking them and eating them. It turned out pretty good. So check out that this video. Also, um, please consider uh, subscribing, uh, liking, or even becoming a Patreon supporter. Um, any support would be great, you know, uh, monetarily it kind of helps offset our gas, but more importantly, it just kind of inspires us to keep making content, um, and to know that you guys are enjoying what we're doing and, uh, the adventures we're sharing with you. So with, the, with all of our, uh, begging and pleading for support over, let's just get to the video. So last night we were down here and we were trying to catch stripers and like every cast, instead of stripers, we caught uh, hickory shad. So tonight we're like, I looked up online about shad and stuff like, you know what we could do? We could smoke them. That'd be interesting. Make a nice video. So we brought the camera and so we're down here now. We've been here for 20 minutes or so. Uh, I actually have caught one. I think Ethan's already filmed that. Imagine it's an albie. I think it was an albie. Oh, no, it's a good one. It's just good shad. Ooh, easy, easy, easy. Honestly, it looks like a blue is he, is he foul? A little bit. It does look like it. It looks like it's the side of the gill plate. Okay, he'll eat just as good as one that I cut in the mouth. <laughs> shad, baby. Oh, it's hooked in the head. Is it a shad? Or a hair gang. So that's a hickory shad. I Here, think. Let me get up. Well, based on the all the videos that we watched last night, so we're going to take a few of these home and we're going to try and smoke them. Now that the camera's here, I mean, last night it was literally every cast. And tonight, Hits. We're barely even getting hits, whatever. And we talked to a guy who was here the night before. He's like, oh, it was ridiculous. The other night you couldn't even get a line in the water. So apparently the... Um, they're on to us. They're, they're on to us and they don't like to be filmed. We got one That's in the bucket. Yeah, they're definitely camera shy. And we're going to bring them home. We're going to, well, we need it like, we want three. If we're going to smoke them, we got to have at least three. So that's the, uh, the genesis of this video here is we're trying to catch some hickory shad so we can smoke them, see, see if they taste any good. As I'm doing this intro, I am, um, just filming, filming Andy because I thought maybe we'd catch him. Oh, is he on? No. More seaweed. Huh? Andy's catching seaweed. It is a beautiful evening. There are places where people eat this stuff. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm making a salad over here. It sounds terrible. Well, I will get you back on. Uh, Andy, what do you want to say? Uh, nothing. I hadn't planned on it. Maybe like, so try like and subscribe. Say that. Oh, like and subscribe. <laughs> Anytime someone talks to you and you don't want to say anything, just say like and subscribe. Like, hit the button, get notifications, um, like, subscribe. Hit Is it though? I think it's called horsetail. I don't know what we call these clouds. Hey, put it in the comments what these are called. There you go. That's called, Alex yells at me. He's like, make sure to make things that are engagement. And I'm like, I don't want to get married. Engagement? Yeah, let's well, send a picture first and I'll see what I can do. <coughs> did you just, what did you do? A bug. A bug. <laughs> <laughs> so we're fishing, Ethan's eating bugs. <coughs> it's bringing them in. Right up on me. Yeah! Ooh, this is the biggest one in the bucket. <laughs> oh yeah, mine's way bigger than yours. Ethan's on. I'm walking us over. Autofocus work. He's not just taking drag on that little rod you got, huh? How tight's your drag? I just tightened up the drag, that's why you just... Oh, he jumped! That's why I tightened the drag.
Get him up. We just need three, then we can smoke them. There we go. All right, hold on. I'm going to come over and get a good picture. Oh, I just said this is the smallest in the bus, if anything. There's Ethan's shad. It's getting a little white. Oh, he fell off. All right, go put him in the bucket. I just like soccer and chip. You did. It's funny because... Um, my finger just went through his mouth. That's the cat. mouth doesn't feel like it's bony. My finger just went through his face. Yeah, I know, but not on the bony part. Oh, yeah, there. that part. You would think that think that would, would that. hold better, but I don't know. They are a soft thing. If you listen when you're watching this video, there's a lot of hacking and coughing because all three of us are. Um, what is going on? We're, we're suffering from um, goldenrod. Now, like I said, we believe these are hickory shad, um, which I'm makes sorry it. Sorry in advance. If they're, not. <laughs> if they're not, then they're American shad. Then of course, but it says you can't take them out of freshwater bot. I don't know. We're just taking them. We're going to eat them. They're right. We They're looked right. at, we spent hours last spring looking up all this crap. So the idea is we're- in mass, unless they're in the Connecticut, you can't keep anything, so. We're just reeling them in slow, and all of a sudden we had a little flurry, so I'm on the camera. We got three, that's enough to smoke. We're thinking they're gonna be like white fish or- I'm thinking they're gonna be greasy. What? No. They're, they have that pokey smell to them. That's why I'm thinking they're gonna be super greasy. And next year, when we're just netting the herring by the bucket load. Alewise. Yeah. Are you buying our permits for us? I don't think we need permits. Yeah. It goes Ethan casting out. All right, show us how to hook up. That's fast. You're reeling fast. So we've each Can we got one. The cameras to um, Vermont this year? Maybe. Last earlier, yeah, last night it was like every cast we got a hit. Tonight we brought the camera. It's slow. We got three to smoke, so we're good for that. <laughs> All right. So Ethan and I, we each tried to fillet the fish that we caught. Mm -hmm. Ethan and I did what is known as the world's worst hack job. I mean, just terrible. These they're wicked bony. These uh, shad here. So Andy, because he caught the biggest one. He's gonna at least get his gloves on. He's already, he's gonna give us a tutorial on um, filleting shad. Now, how many shad would you say, Andy, you've filleted in your life? Well, counting this one. Counting this one. Let's see. This one. <laughs> so, so we're, we're he's filleting this one. We've got the, the meat off it. We don't know, I mean, you might be able to just eat it as is, but we decided, I looked on uh, in the internet, like how do people eat shad? And everybody said they smoke them. So uh, we're gonna smoke these. So we're, we're gonna make a brine and uh, put it in the fridge overnight. And tomorrow while I'm at work, I'll throw it out in the smoker. And then um, it'll either be the most delicious thing ever or we'll throw it in the woods and let the raccoons eat it. Uh, I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking here, Andy. Uh, tell us what you're doing over there. I'm more... Um doing the, the filleting and realizing that. Uh, I'd be like, a kui son, a kui son. <laughs> yeah, I would have a better knife if I was doing the, um. If you were on Iron no, Chef. You know what, those guys, they, they fillet the, um, the bones and everything, and then they cut them out afterwards. Oh, that's what, that was my plan. I just took a hammer and you might, there might, maybe Alex, you can show Ethan and I, doing, we did a horrible job. I don't know if this has, to, well, we're not monetized, so we don't care if you see the blood and, uh, if you're one of those people that didn't know fish have blood in them, they do. Oh. Yes, like usually the guys do, nice and then job, they Queen take son. off the... Boy, you can feel a lot of bones in there. I missed a, one chunk. Well, it is, a, it is in the herring family. Now, what we're not 100% sure is we believe they are hickory shad, but the length of a hickory shad... This is a pretty big hickory shad. Let's, I'm going to get a thing here. Andy, you talk for a minute while I get a, a tape thing. measure. A thing. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Two fillets. Not that bad. Where are you putting these? We put them in this bucket. Mm. Bucket of fish. Now you can make a nice. Uh, save fruit. that for stock. That's what they, <laughs> they always save the bones for chickens. Save it for stock. Let me stop. Apparently, we didn't get a chance to do that. All for right. Stock. All right. Salt. Brown sugar. Going in a bowl. How much salt and brown sugar? I don't know. Oh, it's supposed to be half, I suppose, whatever to whatever. Half so a cup. A cup to a cup. Half a cup. Go ahead. Is Next. that only was the salt was half a cup? Yeah, there's a half a cup in there. Good. And then 
um, hot water. Yeah, it's whatever you're, um, however much you need to make, it's just one to one. Is that so? Yeah. And when they smoke stuff that on um, one of the shows I saw, they take, you put an egg in it. Why? And you float, if the egg floats, then you know you have enough salt in it. Oh. Well, they, if those chickens I had would finally lay an egg, <laughs> but instead we're waiting on those little jerks. Is this going to be enough um, liquid, you think? No, you're going to dilute it a little, I assume. With what? More water, dude. Mm, right. Where that was just the one. You never more. see that on Julia Child. <laughs> the guy's like, <laughs> <laughs> Julia Child is trying to do something. The other person's like, dude, dude, more, more water. water, dude. All right, let's see the let's see the the um. Yeah, it there we go. Looks like. No, let's see the fish all cleaned oh, up. There's a fish all cleaned up. Which, it looks pretty good. It does. I would actually eat. I that. mean, the filleting jobs don't look great. I don't. I think Ethan and I filleted ours with a hand grenade. I know. I said get a firework. All right, do you want to put it in? This bowl? Yeah, you're gonna or put it in there, and then add more water and some ice. That's what Alton Brown does. Wait, right. what about that other stuff you're gonna add? Some soy sauce, <laughs> which will change the amount. Remember, if you're putting soy sauce in, there's salt in soy sauce, so you might have to put some more sugar in. You want Worcestershire in there? Why not? Basically, you're gonna play around with this. How many glugs did you put in? Few glugs, a um, couple like tablespoons. Well, this is um, made with fish, isn't it? Sure. So that should help. That should help the smell and taste. It's an accidental sauce. Okay. Yeah, they made it by accident. They did. I watched. I watched the, the same video that you did. Yeah. I thought that was nice though. That instead of an accident that went bad, you know. All right. You gonna add the fish now? I guess so. It smells we're do, good. We're doing this all in one take. What the brine does? Yeah, it smells good. Nice. It's the same, we used to make a similar brine to this for, um... Don't see in the background that my, no one's done the dishes to Um, you. get me some ice. I can't, I'm, I'm filming. Use that it, bowl. Well, I didn't want to reach in your ice. Wait, just my... put the fish in. I, ah. It's warm water and approach it. This is the first time, that, this is the... One, whoa. One continuous take. There, put the ice in, does it, so it cools off the warm water, otherwise you cook the fish. Nice. Did you give it a chance to work or you just threw it in no, and you're like, you go right that'll away. do it, it'll be good. You go right away. It was cold. Okay. I put a lot of ice in. Again, that's gonna change the amount of water. Let's get back in here so people don't just see your... Now, why do you wear the creepy bank robber slash sexual they... assault gloves? <laughs> I put on these gloves because um, every time or... I come here to do something, you say, you should put on those gloves. And I don't. So today I did, so I don't stink like fish. Uh, is there enough in there now? Enough liquid? I'm not putting my hands in again, so I can throw these gloves away. Um, I think so. It's covering everything. All right. Why don't you cover that up with foil and put it in the fridge? Okay. Uh, let's... You think you should taste it first? What, Here. the brine? <laughs> no, I am not tasting Here. that. Take and sip no. that okay, okay. and see if it's good. Ready? Oh, stop it. <laughs> What'd you think? You oh, didn't really sip it here. I didn't taste it. It's salt? No, I don't want any more. I'll film you sipping it. Here, I'll taste you. I'll film you sipping it. Mm. Is it salty? That's salty as all get out. There you go. Oh. All right, we're gonna oh. we're gonna put this in overnight. Tomorrow morning, I'll rinse it off. It'll form that protein. Let it air dry, and then we're gonna smoke it. Okay. All right. This Where's was the saran wrap. This is. Oh. What? Get me getting clean. I don't know. This is, well, it's four minutes of video, and Alex, I, I insist you don't edit this. We just play it as it is and let, let the chips fall as they may. All right, till tomorrow morning. So the shad is out of the fridge after, after brining overnight. Then I rinsed it, and you see it's got that nice dry kind of protein on it, so that should take the smoke well. You do see the terrible fillet jobs Ethan and I did. Andy's is much better. Probably should have cut this part off, but any, this is just a test anyway. And because this is just a test, because we've never tried tasting, it could taste awful. So I didn't bust out the whole smoker, all the stuff to do that. So I just jury rigged our, my uh, grill. So all I've done is I've taken one grill side off. I got a cast iron pan here. Just put some wood chips in that. A Couple of bricks from the yard. And so as soon as this starts smoking, I'll stick the fish over here like this. I'll show you, like that. Boom, that simple. 
and it's like a simple, easy um, smoker. Then when I once it, this catches on fire, I'll shut the um, shut the, the uh, temperature down so it'll just lightly, you know, smoke. But that see, this is what we're talking about. Why our throats are all up and we're coughing and seizing and snotting. This golden rod or or whatever it's called that comes out in the fall. It is just brutal. So the chips have started to smoke. So what I do is I turn off. Oops, turn off, turn this down, turn it way down. Just enough to keep a little heat on it. And then we'll throw the fish in here, like so. And then shut the lid. Oh, should have thought this through. Perfect. And now we'll just let it smoke for like an hour or so. We'll just come check on it in maybe, um, I don't know, 20 minutes. Smoke should start filtering out and when we're good to go. Then we can taste this and see if this was all a big waste of time or it's delicious. It's been more than a couple hours because I went to Home Depot and did some stuff. It's been smoking <laughs> the whole time. Let's see, Oop, we got the ash, what's left of the smoking chips. Take those out, ooh, that's hot. Still, still hot a little bit. <laughs> and there it is, our finished smoked shad. We're gonna, we've been talking about this for a little bit. We're gonna let it cool off and try it tomorrow. It's Friday, it's, uh, it's, it's actually been three days since we caught this shad. Between catching them, filleting them, brining them, and smoking them, the simple let's just smoke these shad video has taken almost three days of filming. But we're here with the final product. Uh, it's Friday. It's actually the day before the youth uh, deer hunting thing, which is kind of interesting that Ethan just happens to be homesick. So uh, this afternoon we're gonna be hanging some stands and uh, getting ready for tomorrow's hunt. But he does look sick, doesn't he? Give us a cough so the teachers don't know. <laughs> All right, so here's the smoked shad. Uh, we smoked it with apple chips for about four hours. I'm going to try it, then Ethan's going to try it, and then our fearless cameraman, Alex, is going to try it. Am I yelling too loud for this mic? Oh, sorry, dudes. All right, it has, a, you can't see from where Alex is, but look at the bones. Like a million tiny, does that help? If you don't move. Yeah. A million tiny little bones. So that's one problem. I'm going to put a little mayo on this cracker because, you know, Mayo and smoked fish go good. All right, here it is. You ready? You really just taste the smoke. It's not bad, but it's really mild. I probably should have done that in the first place. Just tried. What's the difference between trout? The smoked trout you had or tuna? Tuna's way better than this. Yeah, tuna's a million times better. But um because you don't have to pick out the little tiny bones. Honestly, look at the bones. Trout's better than that. No, the trout has the trout has that freshwater kind of a muddy taste to it that I'm not a fan of. The shad is a really it's like a clean fish. It takes the smoke nice. Ethan, try it. Okay. Where are the chickens? Chick chick chickens! They'll come and eat the other pieces. Oh wow, you went whole hog. Well, the bones will just kill me later. Wow. You, uh, there is a bone, literally. <laughs> that was an aggressive bite. <laughs> ah, it's very bony, very. There, it's honestly really good when you just use don't the get the bone here. Just use the cracker and mayo, right? All right, let's hand a piece to the camera, man. I think it's pretty bone free. Here, want me to film? Turn that camera around. That's Turn in the camera around. Do -do 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 -do. What, you, what you didn't like that? That was um, I don't remember what her name was. That tastes like food. I'm good. Smoky. 
Yeah, I don't find anything weird about it. Besides all the bones. Just, just smoke your thing. If you if you give me a can of beer and this fish, I'll be like, yeah, good. I mean, snack. <laughs> if I gave you a piece of cardboard and a can of beer, you'd be good though, right? No, I mean, if it's going to be a 12th can of beer. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Not the first one. But um, let me just... Um, Oops, sorry. Let's just get some... some Ooh, you, you can't go so quickly. I can't follow you with the camera. I prefer it without me. Okay. Just just a smoke fish. Yeah. Not bad at all. I don't know why Ethan was overreacting. Because I had bones. <laughs> he thought he could just chew up the bones. Here you go. All right, so in conclusion, our shad video, um, we tried it smoke. It wasn't bad. It just was so bony. Um, maybe you guys have a, somebody out there who's got a better recipe for shad. Maybe pickling it, that'd break down the bones. I don't know, but if you do, drop it in the comments. We'd love to know because uh, we actually went fishing last night and uh, we caught a ton more shad. When the camera's not there, we catch like crazy. So that, that also is a big question for us on this Ethan's youth hunt tomorrow. Do we bring the camera? Because the camera does not seem to bring us luck. Um, anyway, like, subscribe, uh, drop something in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video. Three, two, one. Come on, go well, for what it. What am I supposed to do? Just sit there. Look happy. All right, three, two, all right, uh, three, two, one.